What is going on guys? Today in this video we're going to do an encoding speed comparison between Adobe Premiere Pro 14.2 and the studio version of DaVinci Resolve coming up after this. What is going on everyone? My name is Nelson and on this channel I do technology and photography based tips, tricks and tutorials. I've got lots of awesome content coming up in the future, so if you are new here please consider subscribing. Alright guys, with the recent release of version 14.2 for Adobe Premiere Pro, we are finally getting GPU hardware acceleration for encoding. Now this is a feature that DaVinci Resolve Studio has had for a while now, and I figured I'd make this video to see how the two stacked up against each other. So let's head on over to the computer and check it out. All right, so I'm gonna start this test off using Adobe Premiere Pro, and what I have is 25 minutes worth of 4K footage loaded up on the timeline. I have transitions between each and every one of the clips. These have mostly been shot using a Sony A6400 with a couple of GoPro Hero 7 Black clips also in 4K in for good measure. Now I am going to export this and then we're going to import the exact same footage into DaVinci Resolve Studio and see if these two stack up against each other. So I'm going to be using the 4K high quality 2160p preset, which is a VBR one pass targeted at 80 megabits per second. And moving on down here to the encoding settings, we're gonna make sure that we have hardware encoding, which is going to use the GPU for rendering. So I am going to hit export, and we're gonna see how long this takes. All right, guys, that completed in nine minutes and 53 seconds. So I'm going to load up the same footage into DaVinci Resolve, and let's see what kind of results we get there. And I do want to mention, guys, in case you are unaware, DaVinci Resolve, the free version, does not include NVIDIA GPU encoding, only the paid-for studio version, and that's why I'm comparing this to Adobe Premiere. All right, so I have loaded up into DaVinci Resolve, and I have inserted my 25 minutes worth of 4K footage into the timeline, and I have put transitions between each clip. We are going to be exporting in MP4, H.264 for the codec using the NVIDIA encoder at 3840 by 2160 Ultra, 29.97 frames per second, restricted to 80,000 kilobits per second, VBR high quality. And without further ado, we are going to add this to our render queue and hit start render and see how this stacks up. All right, see you on the other end, guys. Alrighty guys, well as you can see it completed in 9 minutes and 27 seconds. I would say these programs are pretty equally matched in this regard. So one of the reasons why I originally switched from Adobe Premiere to DaVinci Resolve Studio was for the GPU acceleration. And now that they both have it, if they didn't have the $20 a month subscription, I would seriously consider switching back to Adobe Premiere. There were some features on there that I just liked a little better. But I'm pretty happy with Resolve. But if you're somebody that's on the fence between the two programs and you do not mind the subscription fee, I would say that either of them would suit you really well. All right, guys. Well, I hope you found this content useful. If you did, please do not hesitate to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps the channel out. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. Have a great one.